Yo, what's good, EYTBC? What's good, Fight Fans, Boxing Heads Around the World? B. Marsh with another boxing video. So this is my post-fight review for the fight between Takashi Mushiura, Takashi Miura, excuse me, versus uh, Miguel Roman, you know. This was a tough fight, man. Miguel Roman came to fight, you know. This was an action-packed fight. Um, both guys had their moments. The man, Miguel Roman, man, he started off fighting the man throwing vicious and mean body shots to Takashi Miura. You know, and after about, about after around like round eight, I had a draw, you know what I'm saying? Then I had uh, Takashi Mishiura. I keep calling him Mishiura, excuse me. Takashi Miura taking rounds nine, 10, 11, and 12, man. Round 10, man, this guy Miura gives this guy, Roman Miguel, a lethal left hook to the body. Left hook to the body right in front of his belly, man. Had the man's belly rattling like a rattlesnake. And the man went down, man. That was a clean body shot. At first, I thought it was a low blow. But when I see numerous replays, it was a clean, legit body shot that knocked the man down. Then I believe in round 11, the man had him on the ropes. Takashi, Mishi, Takashi Miura had uh, Miguel Roman on the ropes and just unleashed a... A, a mirage of combination punches and put the man down. And then in round 12, man, the man definitely got Miura. He knocks the man Miguel Roman out, the Mexican out, man. You know what I'm saying? And he showed great stamina. And, you know, I thought both guys looked tired about midway through the rounds. But, you know, I definitely thought the man Miguel Roman, I'm sorry, Tak Takashi Miura came strong in the championship rounds. Like I said, from round 8, I had a draw. Round 9, 10, 11, and 12. It was all Takashi Miura, you know what I mean? This guy's the number one contender and mandatory for that WBC title that was won tonight by the man Miguel Burchard. And that would be an excellent, awesome fight. We'd love to see that, you know? This guy, Takashi Miura, is a real excellent fighter, man. I like this guy's style. You know, I think this guy's a southpaw, but this guy is always in action-packed fights. His defense, man, he could definitely tighten his defense up, man. This guy could get hit. It's no secret to that, man. But his left hook... His left hand is something lethal, man. This guy's a dangerous puncher, and he showed why. You know what I'm saying? He, got, he You know, he, the man got stronger as the rounds went on, you know what I mean? Uh, later on down the stretch. So big ups to the man, Takashi Miura. Hopefully we get to see him fight the man, uh, Miguel Burchard. It's only right, you know. I thought this guy should have got a rematch back uh, two years ago in 2015 when he lost his belt to the man, uh... Uh, Francisco Vargas, you know, but um, I think this guy definitely deserves a title shot. Hopefully, we'll see that fight happen in 2017. You know, 130 pound is lit, man. That you can't go wrong with any of these matches, man. Any of these matches will make excellent fights between Lomachenko, Jezra Corrales, uh, um, Tank Davis, um, Nicholas Walters, Jason Sosa. Um, uh, Orlando Salido, you can mix and match any one of these players in this division and you will get an excellent fight. So big ups to the Japanese coming to the United States, beating the Mexican in front of a pro-Mexican crowd out there in California. He gets it done, man, and I love to see foreigners come on foreign soil and get it done, you know what I mean? That's how you're supposed to do it, by knockout. Don't leave nothing in the judges' hands, all right? Be March Boxing, I'm going to catch you on the next video. Let me know if you what you guys thought about this fight, and let me know what you th think uh, the man Takashi Mura should do next, all right? Be March Boxing, I'll catch you on the next vid. One.